What's going on YouTube? Gios Knight here. So in today's video we're debunking yet another jailbreak for iOS 12.3.1, 12.2 and so on. I'm talking about this tutorial made just a few days ago by ABC Tutorials in here. The title of the video is How to Jailbreak iOS 12.3.1 and it says CDR for 12.3.1 tutorial and whatever. Now you wouldn't believe but there is actually a person behind this speaking and it's an actual properly made tutorial with all the details you would want. He proves the fact that he is wanting 12.3.1, which does look like that. And then of course he goes ahead and proves the fact that he can jailbreak his device with this in here. It's just saying uh, mobilenerds.net and there's a jailbreak apparently, iOS 10.x to 12.x and there's a button to start the jailbreak. Now I would like to thank Jake for actually providing me the uh, link to this. He sent me an email yesterday and he said, quote, please can you debunk this video because I know new people are coming to the jailbreak community as a new member and maybe think it's real and I don't want people to be tricked by fake jailbreak. Thank you Jake for bringing this to my attention. It was something I did not know existed. I did not know about this channel or this video and when I checked it out I thought it might be interesting to present. So here we are. Now the reason I'm making this kind of videos, even though some of you know that it's a fake thing, we debunk things because they're fake. To debunk means to expose something that is fake. But anyways, I know that many of you know how to spot a fake jailbreak because you've probably been in this game long enough to know what is and isn't bad and what is and isn't possible. But for somebody who is coming from Android right now or for somebody who never jailbroke their device and they're new to this, this might as well look real, especially with 32,000 views in here. So what is this jailbreak all about? Well, you apparently have to start the installation of CDM and there is a pop-up guide in there, there is a progress bar which is usually shared across multiple fake jailbreaks. They do seem to have a progress bar or some verbose text with you know, fake nonsense that is being said in there. But anyways, after the progress bar is uh, increasing a few times, you get in here complete jailbreak, it says required, and it says the jailbreak has almost been successfully applied to your device. The required files are included in all applications. You will be required to download and install two applications following their instructions to complete a jailbreak. And as you can probably see, this is the standard fake jailbreak that asks you to basically download some applications in order to be able to load the jailbreak. Now this is fake because basically the applications you install are normal brand applications from the app store which cannot contain any jailbreak because they cannot modify the code of an application they do not own. If I for example want to modify the application Osiris that I do not own then I cannot do that, I cannot modify an app from the app store. I might be able to modify the app if I have the IPA file but it will not be in the app store and I cannot distribute a modified application through the app store. So the reason they ask you to download whatever applications in here is to basically make a little bit of money. These are basically basically ads. So yeah, that's the problem with all these fake jailbreaks. They usually ask you to do that. They try to profit on the fact that the newcomers in the community do not exactly know what is right and what is wrong. And they actually use facts that might be real. For example, the fact that Cydia will be installed and the fact that the jailbreak is bundled with an application. Because usually the jailbreaks are applications that you have to install but not bundled in an application. But yeah, as a newcomer you might not know that. And then of course they show you the shiny Cydia on your screen and stuff like that and all you have to do is to open it and download your jailbreak applications and stuff like that. Now this Cydia does look a little bit real and what they could have done is to basically have an iOS 12.1.2 device which is jailbroken because there are jailbreaks for 12.1.2 and in order to make the jailbreak look like it's on iOS 12.3.1 one, all they needed to do was to modify a file on the system which contains the iOS version. And then of course the phone will report that it has 12.3.1 when in fact it doesn't. So it's not that hard of a trick to pull and of course it's unfortunate but this is a fake jailbreak. Even though it has 32,000 views, much more views than I usually make with my real jailbreak tutorials. Unfortunately iOS 12.3.1 and 12.3 are the only ones signed at the moment which means that you cannot downgrade but they are not jailbroken 
broken publicly for the moment. There are good news though, the iOS 12.3.1 and 12.3 have already been successfully jailbroken with Cydia privately. We do not have access to those private jailbreaks, but we know that it's possible. We know there are vulnerabilities in the kernels of 12.3.1 and 12.3 that allows us to make a jailbreak when these vulnerabilities will be released. But yeah, do not go ahead and download anything from here if you're a newcomer. The ABC tutorials in here are basically pulling a fake one since this is not a jailbreak that exists and you're never going to be able to jailbreak by just going to a website and installing some applications from the App Store. Those are applications that are clear, that are verified by Apple, so there's no way a third party could actually modify the application and put it back in the App Store for you. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys, thank you for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I really hope it helps the newcomers in the community. Thanks Jake again for bringing this to my attention, I am Geosnow and till next time, peace out.